Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. This is the continuation of our series of lecture on panel data analysis. In our previous video, we discussed the theoretical aspect of panel data analysis where we discussed pooled ORS, what is the issue with pooled ORS, and then we discussed fixed effect and random effect and the uh, theoretical aspect of uh, those models. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how do we use pooled OLS, uh, uh, then fixed effect, uh, and then random effect model in Stata. And then we are also going to look into Bruch Pagan test, which is used to decide whether we use uh, uh, panel data models or we can use simple pooled OLS. And we also discuss the Hausman test. Okay, so let's get started. Let's use the NLS work data set. So we use web views and the name of the data that we want to use. We have around 28,000 observations and there are different variables over here. Um, we have a panel data, we have uh, different uh, individuals, there are uh, different years of uh, say salary, their race, etc, etc, etc. Okay, uh, the number of hours that they have worked. Okay, so uh, we know that it is a panel data and uh, just to limit the data set so that we do not have to work with the whole 28,000 observation, we are just limiting it to the first 500 observations. Okay, so first pooled OLS. Uh, it is simple OLS regression. We just use the same regress command in Stata. We write the regress command, the dependent variable, and all the independent variables. And... Uh, that is how we apply the regression. The interpretations are same uh, as usual um, and all the R square, etc. are the same as you might have seen in other videos related to simple OLS. So in this, we are not taking into account the individual uh, heterogeneity and we have discussed in our previous video that there is an, there might be an issue of individual heterogeneity with pooled OLS. So then we discuss the fixed effect model, but within fixed effect, what we are going to do is first we are going to see how to manually uh, do fixed effect model. Uh, this would just give you an idea of uh, how fixed effect model works. And then uh, there is an easy shortcut of uh, using fixed effect model using the X3 reg and FE function, uh, FE option. So first uh, let's look into the fixed effect model. Remember in previous video we discussed that fixed effect model contains the dummy of different uh, cross sections. In this video, sorry, in this data set, the cross sections are represented by ID code. It represents different individuals. So we are going to generate different uh, dummy variables, one dummy variable for each cross section. So we do tabulate the cross sectional variable, generate and give it uh, in name. So this would generate uh, around 80 uh, dummy variables, right? Or 71 dummy variables. And each dummy variable will be related to each cross section. Uh, if you can see how many cross sections we have, you would see we have 500 observations and 71 cross sections. Hence, we have 71 dummy variables. What we do is we simply run the regress command uh, the dependent and independent variables, and we also include the dummy variables. <clears throat> Remember how we created these 71 dummy variables? And we discussed in our previous video that we include the dummy variables in fixed effect. Uh, and that's why it is called least square dummy variable regression. So we get all the coefficient of these dummy variables. We are not interested in them. We are just interested in these. Uh, and... Uh, there are a couple of ways of doing that. One thing you would notice is that dummy 29 had been omitted because remember if we have 71 firms or 71 cross sections, then we just need to include 70 dummy variables. So that's why instead of including all of them, we just include dummy 2 to dummy 71, right? And that would not omit any, but we would get exactly the same result. As you can see, it is 0 0.0045133, right? Uh, so we generated dummy variable and included them into the regression. Uh, let, one more way uh, is instead of creating those dummy variable and you know our data set gets cluttered, what let me do is uh, let me drop all these dummy variables and 
so drop all these dummy variables and now we do not have any dummy variables we could have simply done is that we could have used this i dot uh, in strata i dot means uh, categorical so this would not generate the dummy variables but it would include them in the model and it would obviously exclude uh, the first one so that uh, we do not have dummy trap uh, and we get exactly the same results so whichever way you use we get the same results but this was the minimal ma ma manual method of using fixed effect model and usually you do not need to do this this is just to make you understand that how fixed effect models work that is we create dummy variable and then we use dummy variables for each cross section in our regression as an independent variable the easiest way is to use the built-in command uh, for this purpose which is xtrec so first we set the data as panel we tell stata that our data is panel data and how do we do that we use xt set command then the name of the cross sectional variable then the name of the uh, time variable and stata would set this data as panel data right <clears throat> remember it is unbalanced panel data and we discussed in our video uh, that what unbalanced panel data is sometimes while you are working over here is let's just say you have a variable which is this cross-sectional variable instead of representing this uh, code for each individual you had their names and then this uh, cross-sectional variable would be string variable rather than numerical variable and strata would give you an error if you do x to set uh, you know strata would give you an error that uh, string variables are not allowed for that you would need to use encode command give it the name of the cross-section variable, generate from ID, and then instead of using the original variable, use the uh, ID variable that you have just created. Uh, this is only if you get an error, right? If you do not get an error or your string variable, uh, your cross-section variable is not string, then you don't need to use that. Okay, so let's jump into the uh, main idea. We we run fixed effect model by typing the xtrec command, the dependent variable, independent variable, and just use the fe option at the end, which means stands for fixed effect. And just notice how the results are, and let's compare these results uh, with the ones that uh, we got when we used uh, the manual method. So let me go back to the manual method and let's compare these results uh okay so you can see that uh, we have exactly same coefficient for r is exactly same coefficient over here we have the same t values and then we have the same r square uh, so not the r square but we have the same uh, other data right we we just don't have this you know cluttered dummy variables which we do not need because we are not going to report these dummy variables of each cross section we are just going to report these uh, these coefficients so this is what we are interested in okay this is how we use the fixed effect model uh, Remember, fixed effect model cannot be used with time invariant regressors as we discussed in our previous video. And normally, race uh, is time invariant regressor in this case. So, if we had any time invariant regressor that do not change over time, and if we run an regression, what it would do is it would omit that time invariant regression. So, if your idea, your topic of interest was to understand how this race impacts wages and this race remains time invariant right it does not change over time for each individual uh, then you cannot use fixed effect uh, then uh, we also discussed uh, this uh, year fixed effect or industry or country fixed effect but we would have a detailed video on this in our um, next session uh, we can just include the i dot year and that would uh, at the same time uh, include the time fixed effect right uh, so these would be the cross section these would be the year dummies and their coefficients that we would get uh, next we have random effect and for random effect we just use the same command except we instead of using the f if 
option we use the re option which stands for random effect and we get our results okay uh, now remember in our video we discussed that should we use uh, panel data models that is whether we should use random fixed effect or we should stick with pooled OLS. So whether to use pooled OLS or random or fixed effect, that is, is there any panel effect? <clears throat> and the null hypothesis of Bruce Pagan test was that there is no panel effect. And if p value is greater than 0 0.05, then we would use pooled OLS. That is, we would simply use uh, this command over here. And if p value of this Bruce Pagan test was less than or equal to 0 0.05, then we would have to move on to the second step, which is Haussmann test, so that we can decide uh, between fixed effect or random effect model. So let's uh, use uh, Bruce Pagan test. The first step is to run the random effect model. So xtreg our variables, and then the random effect, and then we use xt test zero. And it would use the Bruce Pagan Legrain multiplier test for random effect. Uh, our, uh, our test test, uh, our, our p value is 0 0.05, which is obviously less than uh, 0.05. Sorry, our p value is 0 0.00, which is obviously less than 0 0.05. So next we need to do Hausman test. And what we are saying over here is that we cannot use uh, pooled OLS. So this no panel effect. Uh, had uh, this this uh, null hypothesis of no panel effect had been rejected and the alternate hypothesis of uh, that there is a panel effect had been accepted. So we have to use either fixed or random effect. And for that we would have to use Hausmann test. So the null hypothesis of Hausmann test is that this random effect model is appropriate and the fixed effect uh, the alternate is that fixed effect is appropriate. So if p-value is less than 0 0.05, then we use the fixed effect model. That is, we reject uh, the null hypothesis and accept the alternate. And if p-value is greater than 0 0.05, uh, then we cannot reject the null hypothesis and hence we would stick with uh, the random effect. And remember, this Hausmann test uh, tests whether the covariance uh, of the uh, individual heterogeneity and the regressors is equal to zero or not. So the steps for Hausmann test are we first run the fixed effect model, then we store its estimate, run the random effect model, store its estimate and then execute the Hausmann test uh, based on the stored estimates. So I would just execute these commands. Uh, so our, our p-value is 0 0.0006, which is less than 0 0.005. So if it is less than 0 0.005, so we reject the null hypothesis, hence random effect model is not appropriate and fixed effect model is appropriate. Uh, so in our next video, we are going to look into the time fixed effect. Uh, how do we test whether there is a time fixed effect or not? And if we want to uh, export the results, how do we export them? So thanks for this uh, watching this video. Do subscribe this channel and do hit the bell icon.